Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Damage Gems Gun Info. Today I'm bringing you the Ruger M77 Mark II Long Action in 338 Winchester Magnum. So it's an 8.6 millimeter projectile. As you can see right here, it is a beefy round. It's a belted rimless cartridge. It's based on a modified uh, 375 H&H &H Magnum. It's considered a medium bore cartridge. It's suitable for animals such as brown bears, specifically grizzly uh, bears. They oftentimes are used this caliber in Alaska. And it's the most popular medium bore caliber in North America. What I've got currently loaded in it is the Hornady Super Performance. They are 200 grain SST, which is super shock tip, and they run at about 3,030 feet per second. So it's got a little bit of power and everything behind it. Now, as you can see, compared to a M855 A1556 cartridge, it is by far bigger. And you can see the belt right there on the cartridge. Um, the rifle has a Mauser style two lug bolt with a claw extractor, as you can see right there. And it's got an internal magazine, which holds three uh, cartridges plus one in the chamber, gives you four rounds of 338 Winchester Magnum to, uh, to uh, use at your disposal. Uh, the barrel and the action are stainless steel. The stock is polymer and it's got a Bushnell three by nine by 40 uh, optic on it. And so it's got that satiny silver finish to kind of go in line with the, uh, the stainless steel on the barrel. My plan is to, because this is a much beefier cartridge, is probably going to put a little bit bigger scope on this down the line. Uh, something that I can reach out a little bit further. But again, that's to be down the line. Then I have a Harris bipod on it with adjustable legs so I can raise this if I need to from the seated position, sitting on a bucket or something along those lines that I can actually uh, hold this nice and tight on the target that I'm aiming at. And then I've got the cheek rest here because 338 is a bit of a cheek and shoulder thumper. I mean, it's not a light cartridge. If you touch this round off, you're definitely gonna know that you fired this round. Um, it's primarily a hunting cartridge and there are aftermarket parts that you can actually get for it. For example, uh, Pacific Tool and Gauge for about $135 makes an AICS magazine bottom metals that takes the magazines so that you can load uh, box magazines. So each one of these holds five. So you can put one in the gun and have five on backup as a detachable box magazine. However, I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, they are the actual manufacturer of that particular part, so they're working uh, around the clock, apparently, trying to get these uh, things put out there. This isn't an overly um, popular gun to put a bottom metal in, so again, you're not going to find many manufacturers that actually make that accessory. Um, but it is a uh, good, reliable, inexpensive speaking firearm. I paid approximately, roughly, without the bipod and the the shoulder pad, I paid used four fifty for this gun. So, uh, not bad for the price. Uh, so, I mean, you can reach way out uh, and put something down. Now, an interesting thing, as with most guns, it'll have the cartridge drop push right here, and it drops the plate. So it just dump your magazine uh, out. So you'll dump all three rounds. It's a quick and easy way to uh, unload it if you needed to. Then put that back, just push everything back up into position. And then it locks right here in front of the trigger guard. The bottom metals will replace that with a thumb latch where you can then take the magazines out and click lock them into place. It has a three position safety. So right here is position one which locks everything so you can't do anything with the chamber. The moving it forward to the halfway part allows you to open and load the action without having to worry about the round going off. And then finally is the actual fire, which is all the way forward. So when you're on it, you push it all the way forward. And then 
again, us clearing, make sure there's nothing in the chamber, nothing in here, lock down, and then with the safety off, there you go. Now again, to cycle the action, just lift it up, pull back, and you're ready to go with the next round. It'll eject the old round and feed a new round in there until you have no more ammunition. Now to help sight this in, if you wanted to end up going out to the range and you wanted to try to get this thing on paper, one of the things that you can get, Sight uh, Right makes these. Uh, sight Mark, I think, also makes something very, very similar. It is a brass body with batteries inside that you can twist on and then you can take and you can put that inside your chamber and then it'll allow you to adjust your scope at that range so that you can at least get your rifle on paper and then you'll have to do your zeroing uh, from that point on. So if you've got it in there, you want to end up doing that, you take, pull the action all the way open, drop that right in there, as you can see, and it gets chambered right in there, and there you go. And so you won't be able to see it from here, but this projected a laser on the wall, and then I can adjust my scope because it's centered in the, the chamber. And so then you would end up just pulling it back, and there goes your, your laser, so you can release the button at the bottom and turn your laser off until the next time you end up needing it. So it's a um, very powerful rifle. If you reach out, you can put something big down if you need to. Uh, I like to joke with friends that in case I need to shoot a trash truck or a earth mover, I've got just the toy for it. Excuse me, but seriously speaking, it is a, uh, it's a shoulder thumper. You're not going to go spend all day at the range with this, to be honest. Um, because remember, it is a belted magnum, and it will beat your shoulder up. So this is the Ruger Mark 77, as you were, M77 Mark II long action. Uh, they have a short action that has other calibers, such as uh, 308, as an example. So if you're in the market for something to take to the field with you, if you're going to be going out hiking, camping, and you're going to be in bear country, it might not be a bad idea to invest in one of these that uh, will provide you the power to defend yourself if you need to. Um, so this is the Ruger M77 Mark II in 338 Winchester Magnum. So I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of this rifle. And I hope to get out shortly and put some rounds down range to let you know how it shoots. There are different bullet weights for these type of uh, performance rifles. The interesting thing is going to be finding the most accurate round, finding what this gun likes to shoot because the barrel length, the rifling, the loading, the powder and all that will oftentimes lead the rifle to prefer one round uh, from a manufacturer over another, a bullet weight over a different bullet weight. I used to have a Remington 710, I believe years ago in 30-06 and I was shooting the lighter 30-06 round so as not to beat my shoulder up and it was shooting all over the place. I mean, it was rounds all over the place. So a buddy of mine ended up handing me a box of the heavier 30-06 rounds, and as soon as I put them in the rifle, the grouping went nice and tight. So that gun liked heavier bullets. My shoulder didn't like it, but the gun did. So just something to be aware of, that your gun may prefer a specific uh, bullet weight or a specific manufacturer or a specific bullet profile to gain the most accuracy out of it. So think about that when you go out shooting. If you're having performance issues, maybe consider changing uh, the bullet weight uh, up or down, depending on what's going on. Just a thought. So, thanks for watching this episode of Damn It, Jim's Gun Info. If you'll hit that subscribe button down below, I'd greatly appreciate it. I plan on putting some information here in the description, so please check the description for more information. And remember, always carry a knife, because there might be cake.